It's been a while. I'm back. 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 Yeah. Hey y'all, it's Trey. Good to see you again. I took some time off for some reasons that I will get into shortly, but first things first. Thank you. It's been almost two months since I last posted a new video to this channel, but that did nothing to stop people from subscribing. The channel continued to grow every day that I was gone, and that's because of you. So thank you. I'm... Mm. That touches me so much. You know, there's been a lot of ups and downs over the past two months, and it's really motivated me and helped me keep going to know that there are over 10,000 people out there who care about me and wanna see what I do next. So, let's get into it. Welcome to our club, welcome to our club. Welcome Squidward, welcome Squidward, welcome Squidward, welcome Squidward. If you're new here, hi, my name's Trey. I'm a performer and an event manager as my day job, so, I like to talk. And I'm also a big fan of music, so this channel is a space where you get to watch me grow to love the same music that you love. And it's also a creative space where I share something different every now and then just to kind of express myself and put something else out there into the internet. Don't forget, if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more, please click that like button, leave a little comment down in the comment section below, click that subscribe button, and make sure you turn on notifications so you know you're one of the first to know what's going on next, all right? So what have I been up to and where are we going next? Well, I took a couple of months off from posting new content because some new in-person performance opportunities presented themselves to me. And I, in order to be in the best shape mentally, physically, vocally, and all of those things for uh, those opportunities, I decided not to spread myself too thin. And since this channel is my own thing and something that I can move at my own pace with, but those other opportunities had hard and fast deadlines that were quickly approaching, I just thought, we'll come back to the YouTube soon. I didn't really put out any dates because I didn't wanna, you know, have to commit to something and then, you know, get a little bit further down the line and go, mm, I'm not quite ready to do this again yet. Oh, what were those performance opportunities you asked? Because I do know some of you are curious. The first was I got to perform a couple of songs in a cabaret that focused on the music of American composers. That's Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, the Gershwins, and that whole gaggle of entertainers. And then after that, I was cast in a comedy play which then ended up getting uh, canceled after a couple of weeks of rehearsal due to COVID. So RIP. But, um, made some connections, made some friends, and, you know, got the ball rolling. It was good to get back on stage and just, like, be saying speaky lines again. And then on top of that, I was also asked to sing slash DJ at a wedding for the very first time uh, for two of my friends. And that uh, took a little bit of extra preparation just because I'd never done something like that before. It turned out to be awesome. It was a beautiful wedding. I got to really witness some precious, precious moments, and I might do some more things like that in the future. So one more hat to add to my resume. I can say that I'm a wedding singer slash DJ. All right now, moving forward. So I started to think about all the requests for reactions that had piled up before I took the break and then the requests that continued to pile up during the break, and it made me want to cry from feeling so overwhelmed. So I just decided we're going to start fresh here. I did do a little bit of recording over the break. I will reveal that shortly. But as far as what will happen after that video comes out, I think it's best to start with what y'all request in the comments to this video. So if you have some ideas, please drop them down in the comment section below or shoot me a message if you have me on social media. And if you need some inspiration, I'll give you an idea of what I've been uh, digesting and experiencing and absorbing in the music world over these past couple of months, all right? Most importantly, I'm excited to announce that I am in the process of editing a reaction that I recorded with a guest star, my friend and co-worker Katie, she's wonderful, we reacted to 
the last Selena concert at the Astrodome. Katie is a longtime Selena fan, and I am a brand new Selena fan, so we got to kind of join our two perspectives together while watching that concert. Uh, and I was really proud of myself for some of the research that I did before watching this performance. I went to the Selena Museum in Corpus Christi and, you know, bought some merch, got to take a whole bunch of pictures and see the place. So I'm very excited to finish editing that and put that up for y'all to experience. Besides that video that I'm working on, um, I watched the VMAs this year. So I got to see Chloe Bailey's incredible debut performance of Have Mercy, as well as I think Normani was incredible. And I was also looking forward to Casey Musgraves' performance of Starcrossed. Speaking of Casey Musgraves, I've seen the uh, visual album for Starcrossed. Ooh. And I, of course, pre-ordered Lil Nas X's Montero album and stayed up and waited for the midnight release. So I have already listened to that album top to bottom through at least 10 times. In K-pop, I have listened to the new Won Ho Blue Letter EP, and I've also heard the two new singles from Blackpink's Lisa. I also brushed up on some history and learned a little bit about Mariah Carey's career, and I just gotta say, having some context for the emancipation of Mimi changes everything listening to that album. I've also been enjoying an R&B singer named Lettucey, particularly her new EP, Lettucey Sings Nina, is an album of a bunch of covers of Nina Simone songs. <sighs> Good stuff. I love Nina Simone, and then Lettucey just breathes new life into it. It's what we want. I'm up to date with Gaga's Dawn of Chromatica remix album because that was a thing that needed to happen, <laughs> apparently. Yeba's album, Dawn, she understood the assignment. And one where I'm late to the party is SZA. Uh, I finally listened to her album, Control, and that is another one that I have just had on repeat since. And these days, I pretty much play Shakira's Donde Están Los Ladrones from start to finish at least once a day. I'm so sad that that vinyl sold out on Vinyl Me Please before I could get to it. Tear. So there you have it. That's what I've been up to. You guys decide where I'm going to go next. Let me know down in the comment section below for this video or shoot me a message on social media. And this is a good place to plug my socials, haha. <laughs> so I post my most popular content here on YouTube because it's my biggest platform. But if you would like to follow my personal life and other endeavors, or you just like my sense of humor, you can follow me on Instagram at extra purple fire. That's the three English words, extra purple fire blended together. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Le Prince of Petty. Thank you. I am very proud of that handle for myself and I don't see myself changing it very soon. Yeah, shoot me a message, a DM, whatever, however you would like to contact me on those platforms. Just don't send me pictures I didn't ask for, you know? Thank you, thank you. And now it's time to say adios, goodbye. So long, farewell. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Send me more stuff to react to, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!